Hello everybody and welcome to Neurology Channel, I'm Anas Mohammed, and today we're going to be doing a game review. This is a free game and it's called Re Racing 3 made by Fire Monkey Studios, one of the best developers out there to make racing franchises. Now in my opinion before we begin this review, Re Racing 3 is by far the best racing game out there. That said, there are some... Um, there are some things that are wrong with the game, and yet, again, this is probably the best title out there. Now, uh, to begin with the review, Wii Racing 3 uh, offers up to 53 uh, cars, and this is a racing sim title. There are There's an insane level of detail, and this is probably uh, the best-looking game out there. There are several manufacturers, including Audi, Bugatti, uh, Chevrolet, and BMW. And, uh, of course, this is a free game. So, when you buy a car, there are two options, whether to buy the game with the normal currency, which is in thousands and dollars. And, of course, you get to, to buy uh, also uh, cars, some, some cars. You don't get to buy all the cars. Uh, you get to buy it with the freemium uh, coins. Those are not included much. Those are included only when you level up or when you complete a certain portion out of the uh, multiplayer. Now, as you see here, the details in the car is absolutely astonishing. The game really just looks absolutely amazing. This is by far probably one of the best looking games on Android and iOS. Uh, you see the details, uh, the reflection and everything. Just just insane level of detail uh, for each and every car. And the good news is this game is, is as free as it is. There's a lot of good support uh, from the developer including new cars, new game modes uh, every now and then. So, one of the most important things about a racing game, or a sim game, is the graphics, and that is already taken care of because the game looks absolutely astonishing, and the handling. The physics engine is absolutely impressive in the game. And here I'm going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay to see, to get a little feel of how the game looks like and handles. Now, in each race you get up to four cars, each, uh, each series of the race. Of course, I've been playing for up to 20 hours and I barely even finished anything in the game. The game has a very lengthy campaign. There are up to four cars in each series, giving you a little bit of variety in terms of which car to choose and, and which car you like and which car you have upgraded because you're not capable of buying all the cars at once because the game is, as you know, free freemium. But I have to admit that the freemium... Uh, you know the freemium model is not that much obtrusive. Uh, it's not that uh, it's not that bad. It's actually good. The the game just simply makes you wait uh, a little bit uh, for for repairs or getting an upgrade or buying a car, which isn't that much uh, bad. You can. I've been playing for twenty hours and I got up to eleven cars right now. Uh, within the collection, of course, you get to change the controls and the assists here on the side of the screen before the beginning of the race. Uh, you get to choose, uh, you get to uh, change the camera view, and of course the game has a lot of details. In the, even in the cockpit view, the game looks absolutely impressive, and it runs absolutely impressive. Even though uh, there are some effects that are remo removed, like the camera effect. Of course, I do play horribly because I have to review and, and, uh, and play the game at the same time. The game looks absolutely amazing, and the physics are absolutely perfect. However, in the external camera, uh, the camera tend to get a little bit ag aggressive, and when you stop uh, really hard and take a corner, uh, the camera kind of looks at the car from the side, which is a little bit weird and hard to get used to, and causes you to collide. Now, uh, of course, in the loading screen, you have seen the TSM multiplayer, which is kind of a really new... Uh, concept uh, from EA Games. It's it's a really good concept. Uh, this uh, this concept allows you to allows other players to play and record their times. And um, whoops, <laughs> uh, it allows them to record their times, and you get to compete against their times even when you're offline, even when they're offline. Of course, unfortunately, the those times are handled by the game's AI, which is absolutely aggressive for no reason. It doesn't collide you only when it have to, like on corners and and, uh, and, and just hard parts of the track. Uh, it collides with you whenever it sees you uh, right by its sides. If you're just on a, on a straight line and just driving as fast as you can, you'll find the AI ramming you for absolutely no reason. If the AI is behind you in a straight line and could completely avoid you, they'd also ram you. This is a little bit annoying since the, uh, the damage uh, on the cars does uh, affect uh, the performance of the car from reducing the acceleration times to gas to everything and it makes you also have to repair your cars a lot quicker and the waiting times would increase more. However, of course, with the increase of your uh, garage size and, and being able to play with more cars, 
Uh, you wouldn't have to wait much. You, every time your car goes, uh, you know, uh, bad, you just you get to change the car and, and just continue on racing. There's a, a different amount of uh, series in, in every, uh, a lot of series, yeah, for every car. Uh, there, there are about two uh, series for every car. So if you bought a Ford Shelby GT, like the one I'm driving, you get to play with it for two series. And in two series, you can get, gather a lot of money. You can buy uh, a lot of premium cars. I managed to buy about two so far, including the Porsche Spider, and and I think the uh, the Dodge Viper. Now the physics engine here in the game is absolutely impressive. Uh, it's very realistic. You you get a good sense of speed, and the car really handles really well. And this is one of the games that I really enjoyed because I've always found the the. Uh, the, the handling and the driving and the speed and the, the way that the, the AI just keeps, you know, uh, bashing you and all that. It really is intense and keeps you on the edge of, the, of your seat. This is by far one of the best racing games out there. And yes, there are some negatives, including the removed effects from the Android version, while the iOS version have all the effects turned on and the game it runs even better. Of course, this might be due to a lack of optimization. And of course, the TSM multiplayer is handled by a stupid AI. Uh, other than that, this game is by far probably the greatest and the best racing game I have ever played on Android, and I doubt that there would be anything better than that. However, I am waiting for Fire Monkey Studios to make another great game, another great real racing game, or another racing game in general, because they already made Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, anyway, this is one of the best games. This game gets a rating of outstanding. And I do recommend you, uh, for you to play it. If you have a powerful enough tablet or a phone to play the game on, go out there, get the game, and enjoy it because it is for the price of nothing. It's for free. This is Anas Muhammad from Knowledge Channel. I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you liked the video and subscribe, that would be uh, great. Thank you. So I'll be seeing you soon. I'll be reviewing more things to come in the summer. Uh, this is Anas Muhammad from Knowledge Channel. I'll be seeing you soon.